September 29th and this weekend was supposed to be our three day Black Friday training out at Green Valley MX. We got some rain this week that made Green Valley super muddy, super not able to train on. So we had to cancel Friday and Saturday and just reschedule the date till next weekend. Uh, but we are able to get big bikes in today, so that's where we are headed. It is 8-12. We're a little behind schedule, but that's okay. Um, training starts at 10, and we are all loaded up. I have all the clothes in my car. Scott has some clothes, easy ups, and the side-by-side, -side, and we are ready to go. up guys here we are day one which would technically be day three of super camp but the schedule's all messed up this so yeah if she told you that all right now we're trying to figure out if we're doing ovals but we're trying to figure out what exactly the plan's gonna be the track turned out really good today especially for big bikes there are some water holes um no we doubt have a couple about 85s, that. But, but there's a, there's we've a, trained them before yeah a couple of our regular guys are coming and then a bunch of big bikes so uh we'll see how this goes i don't really i mean i've got some ideas what we want to do i just kind of need to see the guys ride and uh see what we need to do from there but i'm trying to figure out if the track's going to break into ovals um if we want to do any or not i'm not really sure um so we'll just kind of play it by ear once i see what these guys are doing ride wise then we'll kind of figure out what we want to do um but they're definitely going to get definitely going to get muddy today so you know, it's all, that's how it goes. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Cut half my Some wet spots, okay? So just be aware of that. Um, I don't really, I can't really tell you where to go to miss them because they're kind of just where they are. Um, over here coming right, there is actually water on the track. On the left side, like okay, the little roller thing on the inside, then you go down the straightaway, the left side of the straightaway has a water hole in it. Um, outside of that, the rest of the track is pretty good. Um, I want you guys to take a slow lap, just get a hang of it, figure out where the water holes are. We don't want to crash in the first five minutes of the day, uh, but we're going to burn quite a few laps this morning to get it broke in, get some lines going, um, and then we'll go from there. I don't think we're going to have to do much ovals if we do any at all. We'll see how you guys do today. Um, I'm sure that's good news for some of you, especially Bradley. He hates ovals. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Or the old guys, don't run over the old guys. You guys ready? Start up.
guys that are going to the outside, every one of you needs to go twice as fast to the outside if you're going out there. Okay? We gotta get you more forward on the bike. Alright? You're getting it, but we gotta keep getting it. Uh, Bradley, when your butt hits the seat, you gotta be going. You're waiting too long to accelerate. You're going fast, but you're just kind of cruising through the middle part of the turn when you can be under power. Okay? Another thing I'm seeing, and I really noticed was coming down this straightaway after the finish, make sure you guys are in a high enough gear. Make sure you're still shooting. Come mm -hmm.